Hello everyone and welcome to Learnaholic India. In today's session, we are going to see difference between DCP and UDP. So the topics today we are going to cover are definition of DCP, functions of DCP, definition of UDP, functions of UDP, and the comparison between DCP and UDP. Let's start with the definition of DCP. TCP or Transmission Control Protocol is a connection-oriented protocol found in a transport layer of the TCP-IP model. It establishes a connection between the source and the destination computer before starting the communication. TCP is highly reliable as it uses a three-way handshake, flow, error and congestion control. It makes sure that the data seen from source computer are received accurately by the destination computer. If in case data received is not in the proper format, then TCP retransmits the data. In TCP, transmission are handled using the slicing window system, which helps in detecting the acknowledged transmission and automatically retransmits it. Now let's see the functions performed by the transmission control protocol. First, addressing or multiplexing. Higher layer application processes are determined through using TCP ports. This layer mainly multiplexes the data received from various processes and sends data with the help of the underlying network layer protocol. Next is establishing, managing and terminating connection that is nothing but the management of connection. There are a group of procedures which are followed by the devices to set up a connection through which data can travel. Once the connection is established, it is needed to manage and at last, after finishing the TCP connection, it is terminated. Next is handling and packaging the data. This feature provides a mechanism which enables the data to be sent to TCP from higher layers, which is then packaged into the message to send it to the destination TCP software further. The software residing at the receiving end unpackages the data and supply it to the application on the destination machine. Next is transferring the data. In this step, the package data is transferred to the TCP process on the other device through following layer principle. Next is providing reliability and transmission quality service. It involves the services and features that permits an application to consider the protocol a reliable medium of transferring the data. The next is providing flow control and congestion avoidance feature. That is nothing but flow control and congestion control. This feature controls the flow of the data between the two devices and deals with the congestion. Now let's see the definition of UDP. UDP or User Datagram Protocol is a connectionless protocol found in the transport layer of the TCP IP model. It neither establishes a connection nor checks whether the destination computer is ready to receive or not. It just sends the data directly. UDP is used to transfer the data at a faster rate. It is a re less reliable and so used to transmitting the data such as audio and video files. UDP neither guarantees the delivery of data nor does it retransmit the lost packets. It is just a wrapper protocol that facilitates applications in accessing the IP. Now let's see the functions performed by the UDP. The main task of UDP is to take the data from higher layer protocols and position it in UDP messages which is then moved to the IP for transmission. It follows some specific steps to transmit the data which are given below. First is higher layer data transfer. In these steps, a message is sent to the UDP software by an application. Next is UDP message encapsulation. It includes the encapsulation of the message into the data field. The header of the UDP message along with the source port field and the destination port field are added. It also computes the checksum value. Next is transfer message to IP. At last, the UDP message is transferred to the IP 
for transmission. Similarly, when the destination ends receive the message, this whole process gets reversed. Now we will see the protocol used TCP for transmitting the data. First is HTTP, that is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Next is HTTPS, that is Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Another protocol used is FTP, that is File Transfer Protocol. Next protocol is SMTP, that is Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Protocols used UDP for transmitting the data are BootTP, that is Bootstrap Protocol, DHCP, that is Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, DNS, that is Domain Name Server, TFTP, that is Trivial File Transfer Protocol. Now we will see the comparison between the TCP and UDP. The first point is meaning. TCP establishes a connection between the computers before transmitting the data. UDP sends data directly to the destination computer without checking whether the system is ready to receive or not. TCP means Transmission Control Protocol, whereas UDP means User Datagram Protocol. In TCP, the connection type is connection oriented, whereas in UDP, the connection type is connectionless. The speed in TCP is slow, whereas the speed for data transfer in UDP is fast. TCP is highly reliable, whereas UDP is unreliable. The header size in TCP is 20 byte, whereas in UDP it is 8 bytes. Acknowledgement In TCP, it takes acknowledgement of data and has the ability to retransmit if the user requests. In UDP, it neither takes acknowledgement nor it retransmits the lost of data. In TCP, the protocol connection setup is connection oriented. The connection must be established prior to the transmission of data. Whereas in UDP, it is connectionless. Data is sent without a setup. The data interface to application in TCP is stream based, whereas in UDP, it is message based. The retransmission of data in TCP, delivery of all data is managed, whereas in UDP, it is not performed. The features provided to manage the flow of data. In TCP, flow control using sliding window protocol. Whereas in UDP, there is no provision for management of data. Overheads. In TCP, it is low but greater than the UDP. In UDP, it is very low. Data quantity and suitability. In TCP, small to moderate amount of data, whereas in UDP, small to enormous amount of the data. Implemented over. In TCP, applications where reliable transmission of data matters, whereas in UDP, applications where data delivery speed matters. Applications and the protocols. In TCP, FTP, Telnet, SMTP, IMAP, etc. Whereas in UDP, DNS, Bootstrap, DHCP, TFTP, etc. Conclusion of this is both TCP and UDP have their advantages and disadvantages. UDP is faster, simpler and efficient and hence generally used for sending audio and video files. TCP on the other hand is robust, reliable and guarantees the delivery of packets in the same order. Hence, we conclude that both TCP and UDP are essential for the data transmission. Thank you for watching today's session. If you are new to this channel, then subscribe to Learnaholic India. And don't forget to click on the bell icon for the latest video updates. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. The social media links are given in the description. If you like today's video, then like it, share it with your friends. Also, if you have any query, then please comment below. Remember one thing, sharing of knowledge is gaining of knowledge. That's it for today. Stay tuned for next video. Thank you.